Welcome to Expressions 2016. The whole idea behind Expressions is to give a platform to photographic artists both at home and abroad. We were overwhelmed this year with the high standard of entries that we received, both conceptually and technically. The issues that were dealt with ranged um, from issues like alopecia to sexuality, voyeurism, there were um, aesthetic photographs that showed um, Caravaggio's paintings and emulated those paintings. Um, so we were actually again overwhelmed, just as in 2015, with the standard of the work. I was asked to photograph a charity bike run from Arklow to Bray. And um, uh, the chap in the picture, Dominic his name is, uh, he won a prize, uh, free motor oil. and. Um, and he was just walking towards me and he had this tremendous expression on his face which I thought was very, very good because it's, uh, it's, it's one of shy uh, enthusiasm, we'll say. And, uh, you know, judging from the character that he is, he, he's a very, uh, he gives off the impression of being a big biker man. And I thought it was a nice contrast between the image of his personality and the expression on his face. I thought it worked very well. I have a chance to see so much talent. And the photographs we can admire today are so deep and creative. And personally, I love when a photograph becomes a piece of art, when a photograph is not just a simple shot. This photo is called Facing It, and what it's about is really looking at the person, but I suppose what I wanted to try and get across was that we all face challenges in life, and we all try to face them square on. So the jagged peaks on either side represent the kind of challenges that everybody faces, and I wanted this guy to look very strong and to the future and to face his struggles. It must be just a tremendous gift to be able to express your art and have such an effect on the different emotions of the people appreciating that art. I think, I think it's fantastic all together. My photo connection is about how uh, humans are connected to nature and we're not separate from it but we're a part of it and I wanted to capture uh, the girl as part of nature and not really noticeable as a human but almost like a mountain or grass or leaves just part of it and um, not separate from it. The arts, you know, is people expressing themselves in different ways and you know we have to support the arts in whatever way we can and there's people out there that you know they don't have a recognition of what the arts do you know for people it gives them an outlet it gives them a way to express themselves and you look around here this evening and you see the talent we have in this country well it's just a picture i was on the beach one day with my grandchildren and they were playing around and i seen them going for the hole but i had to kind of run to capture it and uh, i did the idea just came into my head that didn't have a clue how deep it was or anything and just the imagination of them actually running to jump into it. You know, I just thought it was kind of cute. <laughs> um, okay, so the first time commended. <laughs> Alexander Klimtuk. Um, it was kind of always um, in my head that. We are like children after our experience stuff when they're young and you know it stays with them. And um, I kind of wanted to show it through my work. Next time commended is I don't know, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing this correctly, but um, it's Edith Elias. Next time commended is Michelle Yose Walsh. And lastly is, I, again, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly, Naomi Joyce. Yay! <laughs> uh, so my work is in, inspired by uh, Dustin Heimlich. It's um, the, the unhomely home. It's 
you know, uh, kind of disturbing presence in the home. Um, and my background is actually in the circus. So I was trying to use certain skills that I had already and trying to uh, bring them into my own work. So in these particular pictures, I had rigged up um, a harness system in which, uh, so I'm in the harness and then it's kind of contorting my body into strange and usual positions. And then uh, I then take the photos and Photoshop the harness out to give this kind of gravity defying images. Um, our winner this year is actually not Marland. Uh, he is from America. His name is John Rich. Um, and his work was on alopecia. So unfortunately, he couldn't be here tonight to receive um, this prize. But we do have a little video piece from him um, accepting it. Hi everybody, I'm John Rich. I'm here in my home office studio in Boston, Massachusetts. I'm sorry I can't be with you in Longford tonight, but I just want to say thank you to everybody associated with putting on the exhibition. I, I'm grateful to have been included in the show, and I'm ecstatic about having been chosen as a winner. It's uh, The work is, is part of a personal project that I've been doing for five years. It's about people with alopecia. It's a subject that's very personal to me and close to my heart. So again, thank you. Um, you know, we don't do the work as artists to get recognition, but when it comes, it's really a wonderful feeling. So uh, thanks again. I'm sorry I can't be with you. I would buy everybody a beer, but have a great time at the show. Cheers.